New at 6, Ohio's Attorney General just announced new recommendations for police officer training in the Buckeye State, looking to update it for the modern age. Now, Michael Sandlin joins us from the Safety Building in downtown Toledo with more. Michael, what led to these recommendations? Dan, Attorney General Dave Yo said today that police officer training has remained the same for about a decade. So he gathered a panel of senior police officers from the Ohio Peace Officers Training Academy looking to find ways to improve and grow in terms of how training is operated. And after a few months of brainstorming, they came up with a few ideas that they say will make being a police officer safer and more effective than ever before. I'm confident that this new blueprint from uh, this distinguished group of experts is going to put Ohio on a route to be the best in the nation uh, at training our law enforcement officers. After four months of research, Attorney General Dave Yost's office has come up with new ways to use the 740 hours trainees need to graduate, retooling the program to make it not just about enforcing the law on paper, but also about effectively serving the community. Toward the sorts of things that officers are uh, and deputies are encountering on a daily basis. AGO says moving forward, he's recommending less radar gun training and more time on topics like how to communicate with the public. Specifically, how to talk with people, how to read body language, how to not escalate situations, but de-escalate situations. Uh, communication has become a real key piece that we found uh, to be missing. And their research found current firearm standards to be inadequate, saying in addition to the required hours of range time, the AG's office is now recommending a written test as well. Covers law, uh, when they're allowed to use weapons, how uh, the laws apply to, what serious physical harm is. And physical fitness qualifications are recommended to be relaxed, now letting officers graduate even if they've only passed two of the three fitness standards. We find that we're losing some people because of three or four seconds on a run or one push-up or one sit-up. Additionally, 80 hours of tactical training, normally reserved for SWAT, would be required to better prepare officers for the realities of the job. Continued professional training will also be recommended more than ever before. And perhaps the most futuristic adjustment, instead of rookies being immediately put out on the street, AGO says some of their earliest field training will now be in VR. By using virtual reality where when the uh, decision goes the wrong way, the real world consequences don't follow. It's important to note none of these recommendations are going to happen right away. AG Yo says it's going to require at least a passage in the legislature or some kind of statute to make sure that they actually happen. But he says they're working on that as quickly as they can. Reporting in downtown Toledo, I'm Michael Sandlin for the View TOL 11.